The Arctic is typically regarded as a pristine environment, but in reality it's contaminated by pollutants such as mercury. When consumed in high doses, it damages the brain, impairs hearing and vision, causes reproductive failure, tremors, and in worst cases, death. But how does this dangerous metal get to the Arctic? Well, it is emitted to the atmosphere by natural and human activities. It circulates the globe and eventually deposits in cold environments such as the Arctic. This is problematic since it then accumulates in organisms, ultimately harming the humans who eat them. So to address this issue, I'm looking at mercury in Canada, specifically Calumet, known as its capital city. The people here rely on fish and other animals in order to feed themselves and their families. But if fish are contaminated with mercury, this can be dangerous. So to figure out people's exposure to this metal, we need to know how much of it is in the fish and the fish's food. To do that, I collect samples around a cowlet, sort them, freeze dry, grind, and then analyze them with this machine. This will tell me how much mercury is in these organisms and how this affects the fish. We will then be able to see how it's accumulating with each trophic level in the food web, and whether cowlet residents should be concerned about mercury in the foods they're eating, or whether they're safe and okay to eat.